Welcome yogis, thank you so much for joining me. So today we will be looking at Ahimsa, which is, if you think about it, the very first of the Yamas and Niyamas. And the Yamas and Niyamas are the very first step of the eight limbs of yoga. So essentially this one aspect that we're looking at today is a foundation for the entire yogic practice. So it means to do no harm. And the essence of Ahimsa is everything that we do we must first ask, will this cause harm? Or staying up till 2 a.m. to finish an assignment, is that really thinking first do no harm? Or is having this one little win in a conversation against somebody, but making that person feel hurt or you know ashamed, is that really thinking first do no harm? So it kind of steers us back to love and compassion for ourselves, for others, and for the world around us. So I'm really excited to share this beautiful class based on Ahimsa with you today. So let's get started in a comfortable seat. You can come into a cross-legged or kneeling position and turn the palms open. And start to find a very easy breath. Just breathing as slowly as you can without any force or strain. And feeling the sense of expansion and lightness in the torso. Remembering that we all are love and compassion at our very core. It's only our experiences on this planet that sometimes has tainted that slightly. If you look into the eyes of a beautiful animal or a little child, you'll see that at their core, that purity of who we all are. Let's expand on this feeling. Reach your arms out wide and really stretch your fingertips apart. Feel this expansion across your heart. Just feeling the sense of being open open to yourself, open to others, open to your life and reach those hands up now as high as you can. Always reaching for that highest self, that highest choice and bring your hands down into your heart center, that truest part of you, perhaps with a little smile across your face. And now peel open your fingertips, so just the thumb and the pinky finger are touching into Padma Mudra, the Lotus Mudra. This mudra represents just rising above darkness or negativity and choosing beyond all else to stay open. So breathe into your heart space, breathe into this beautiful open, almost like a cup shape where we can draw in and drink in that love and compassion for ourselves also. And as you take an energetic inhale, reach these hands up all the way, past your eyes, seeing kindly, past your head, thinking kind thoughts, and all the way up so the arms are starting to straighten out, the shoulders draw down and those fingertips really reach out. Take three big breaths here, just keep thinking. I'm open to all that serves me and all that serves this world. Keep extending out through your fingertips. One more breath here with a beautiful smile across your face. And then take your right hand down to the mat beside you. Keep stretching out through those left fingertips and come into a side stretch. How much expansion can we create in the body? How much expansion in the heart? Reach out of your fingertips. Then come all the way up. Reach your hands up towards the ceiling and join the heels of the hand together, the thumbs and the pinky. Reach up, up, up. And then draw this into your own heart. 
And just hold it here for a moment, just giving back to yourself what you so freely give to others. Imagine this lotus mudra like a goblet or a glass that you're just drinking in. All that kindness and all that generosity. One more breath here. Fill your own cup. And ground down through sit bones. Imagine that's your roots as you grow up, stretching up towards the light, towards the sun. Always choosing to reach for the light. As we stretch our fingertips out, feel this beautiful space in our ribs, our torso, our back. And then take your left hand down, your right hand up and over. And exhale over. Imagine here that you've just got the warm sun glowing down on you. And turn your heart and your head up towards that sun. Keep stretching out through your fingertips. Like that lotus flower, just keep growing and stretching. And one more breath here. And take your hands up, heel the hands together, fingertips out. Maybe this time looking up, just stretching out your neck. Imagine you're looking up at a beautiful flower with the sunlight beyond it. And draw that into your heart center one more time. And just bow down in honor of this sacred practice. Close your flower now, just bringing that into your heart for one more breath. And then just bring your hands forward, your knees back, and place those hands underneath your shoulders. Drop the belly here. Feel again this sense of space across the chest as you look up. Looking up towards the sun. And exhale, round out your body. Feel that sun now on the back as you stretch through the shoulders. Doming through the upper back and tuck your chin in towards your chest. Drop your belly again. Expand out through your chest. Expand the clavicles. Draw the shoulders back. Smile up. And exhale, round out. Chin to chest. Drop your belly again. Just kind of coming into a natural rhythm with your own breath here. And keeping it fluid. With all these movements today, just remember, first, do no harm. So move from that place of health and connection. But never force anything from... You know, the sake of ego or an external look of the pose. Taking one more breath here. And exhale, round it out. And return to neutral. From here, take your fingertips out to the side. So they're pointing out to the sides of your mat. And just gently lean over to the right, over to the left. And stretch out your ribs, your wrists rather. Just nice and gentle, side to side. Letting this rocking motion calm your nervous system. One more breath here. And then come onto fingertips, stretch them in front of you. Take a little halfway lift, bottom up towards the ceiling, just like in our cat pose, our cow pose. And then take your chest down. Maybe the chin comes to the mat, maybe the forehead comes to the mat. Wherever you are, just feel this beautiful drop down through your heart. So ahimsa means non-violence. You think, yeah, that's pretty simple. I'm not going to hit people in the face, right? But violence can kind of cause these little ripples of harm in so many smaller ways. Even just something simple, 
like not looking after our health or rushing. If we haven't had a proper breakfast and we rushed off to work, the first person we meet, we're not going to be giving them our full self. We might be irritable, we might be non-present, we might make a mistake which causes harm. So the way that we think, the way that we eat, the way that we behave, the way we speak to others, we need to ask ourselves in every instance, is this causing harm? Is there a more loving, nourishing option? Taking one more breath here and really just dropping down into your chest softening through your shoulders and your face. Then walk your hands back in underneath the shoulders and give your bottom a little wiggle. Take your right hand down underneath your face and start to turn your chest open. Move your left hand across your heart and turn it up towards the ceiling. And then squeeze the belly, press into the ground and reach the left hand all the way up. Again, visualize you're stretching up towards a beautiful, warm sun. Turn your heart open. One more breath. And then thread it through onto your left shoulder, onto your left ear. You can press down into the right hand to spiral your chest open. You might want to stretch the fingertips forward. If you feel fairly stable through your left shoulder, you can bring your weight onto your left knee and take the right toes back. And just take your time with it again. First, do no harm. Don't rush. Maybe you can stretch that right leg up off the mat. If you fall out, don't stress. It happens all the time. <laughs> just come back with a smile. And if you're still there, just keep pressing down into everything that touches the floor, even your fingernails. And then slowly bring your right knee back beside your left. Slide your right hand in beside your face. And again, moving your hand across your heart. Imagine you're literally picking your heart up, holding it, supporting it, and then offering it up. Smile here, expand here. And then take your left hand down, back to that neutral tabletop, and give your bottom a little wiggle. I don't even know if this bottom wiggle does anything, but sometimes it just feels good. <laughs> and that's our intention today. Left hand underneath your face, right hand up. Hold across your heart and then stretch it open. Deep, full, slow breath that fill up your lungs. Reach one more time up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right ear and right shoulder down onto the mat. You can press in the fingertips or you can stretch them forward or any other variation you like. Option to stay here or bring your weight into your right shoulder, your right knee. Keep plugging down through those left fingertips for balance. Take your left leg back. Squeeze your belly and press into the ground. Smile, you've got this. And then slowly stretch your left toes back. An extension of your spine, everything energized for three, two, one. Squeeze your belly and place the left knee down beside your right knee. Left hand beside your face. Right hand comes to your heart and pick your heart up. Just checking in with this heart. Has it been a little closed lately? Has it been any fear? Hold it, support it, and then choose to be open. Reach it up. And feel that spiraling through your whole spine, creating space between your ribs, and then come on down. Beautiful. Tuck the toes under, press into your fingertips, lift your bottom up, and pull it back to downward facing dog. Just get a little groovy here. Just make it feel good. Moving the hips side to side. And let's come back to stillness. And then roll it forward, shoulders over wrists. Bend the knees. 
and circle your hips back and bottom up towards the ceiling again roll it forward nourishing the movement with your breath exhale bring the bottom back and up towards the ceiling so imagine if you're looking at this shape from the side your hips are making circles roll forward bend the knee inhale up and one more bend the knees inhale up and then stretch your right toes up and exhale really press down into the mat inhale right toes up towards the ceiling and exhale bend the knee open the hip keeping that knee really high feeling this sense of space in your chest your shoulders your belly and your hips Draw the right heel down towards your left bottom cheek a little more. And then inhale, stretch the toes up. And exhale, step it all the way through. Land onto the back knee. And untuck the toes as you reach up. And exhale, bend into that front leg. Just stabilizing here through the ground. And then really reach up through your left hand and right hand grabs onto your left wrist. Pull it up so you feel that space between the left lower rib and left hip. And then pull it over towards the right side. Gently encouraging the biceps back towards the ears. But again, first do no harm. Check in with how you're experiencing this. And soften your face, drop into your hips. And take one more breath here. And slowly taking the left toes behind you and take the hands over and drop the left hand down as you reach the right hand over. Circle your right hand down towards the ground. Take it back. And as you inhale, lift your right leg up. And get as long as you can here, really stretching out through fingertips and through those toes, left hand right underneath the shoulder. Now squeeze your belly and with control, bring your right elbow towards your right knee, like a fist pump moment, and then stretch it out. Thinking like that flower growing, getting really long. Exhale. Fist pump moment, <laughs> stretch it out. Get really long. One more, exhale, squeeze it in, elbow to knee. And inhale, get really long. Then bend that back leg and reach the right hand back. And start to kick into your hand. So you feel your chest opening. Maybe start to turn your gaze up towards your right pinky toe. And smile back at it. Pull the shoulder back. One more breath here. And now without slingshotting, as fun as that could be, first do no harm, right? Control the body, reach it out. And taking it down to the back of your mat. So right hand underneath the right shoulder, left underneath the left. Straighten out your body and plug down into your fingertips, tuck the right toes under and squeeze the left knee into your chest and take it all the way up to three-legged dog. Or as my daughter calls it, wee wegged dog. <laughs> Pressing down into fingertips, take a breath. And then feel the body open up. Every one of these postures today, just asking yourself, how can I nourish myself? How can I give back? How can I be more kind, caring and aware? And then inhale, straighten the leg up and exhale, squeeze into the belly, step it forward, drop the back knee and untuck the toes, reach up. Press down into your feet, feel that stable base. Squeeze your belly in and stretch up through your fingertips. 
reaching up through the right hand, left hand grabs onto right wrist, pull it up and then over towards the left side. someone was to look into your eyes right now, is there kindness there? Is there a softness, an openness in your physical energy? If you simply move like this today, breathe like this, you'll start to feel like this too. So breathing in, one more big, long, expansive breath. And then turn your right toes behind you. Take your right hand down towards the mat and left hand reaches up and over and take three big breaths here, getting really strong, open and long. Our strength that comes from love and our strength that comes from fear has such a different quality. So just check in as you reach out. We find that strength from that place of love. Reach it out. And then keep that energy flowing as you take the hand down, back, inhale up, and press down into right hand and hover the left leg. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fist pump. Inhale, extend. Exhale, feel your strength. Squeeze it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, extend. And then take that leg back, reach for the left foot. Hold it with your hand. And then kick. Kick. Opening your heart. Breathe deep for three, two. Look at your left pinky toe. One. And that was a bit of a slingshot, sorry. <laughs> Stretch it out, reach over. And take it towards the front of your mat now. Hands underneath shoulders, tuck your left toes, bring your right knee into your chest and take it up and take it down. Roll forward plank position and lowering down with strength for three. Elbows graze past the ribs, two. Just hover off the mat, one. Flop down <laughs> onto your belly and give your hips a little wobble. Coming up to fingertips and lift the chest. Lengthen out your neck, draw the shoulders back, toenails down into the mat, and then draw your right shoulder super slow down to the center of your mat. Look over your left. Inhale, center. Take a breath there, pull the shoulders back, the chest forward. And exhale. Inhale. Lift the chest up, chin up towards the ceiling. Exhale, right shoulder down. Moving slow like I'm moving through honey. I did pretty back actually. <laughs> Lift the chest through thick water. And take the left shoulder down. Look over the right shoulder. And lift the chest. Linger there for a moment, feeling strong and open. And exhale, lower down. Coming back through your child's pose. Just pause here for a moment. Honestly checking in. Is there anywhere in your life where you are causing harm? To yourself, or to others, or perhaps to the earth around you. Without shame or guilt, just listening in, using your intuition to perhaps make more kind choices. Take the toes under, lift the bottom up. And then really purposely, really kindly, Taking our steps forward to the top of the mat. Each step with intention. And take the feet to hip distance apart. Take a halfway lift.
squeeze the belly and draw the tailbone back. And then slide your hands underneath your feet. You can bend your knees here. Press down into your toes and give your wrists a nice little massage. And again, first do no harm. So check in with this shape. If it feels good to straighten out the legs, you can play with that. If it feels fun to lift onto balls of feet, again, you can play with that. First, do no harm. Take your heels down now. Release the fingertips to the mat or to the shins and take a halfway lift. And take your hands behind your back. Interlock your fingers, draw them away from you. And exhale, you can bend your knees or keep them straight as you fold forward. Just give your head a big old shake out. So much of the fear we experience these days is not real fear. It's not like a saber-toothed tiger chasing us. It's fear in our head. So shake out any of those kind of limiting beliefs or thoughts that don't serve you. And as we roll up, let's just let go of the hands now and roll up with that sense of openness, courage, kindness to ourselves. Roll your shoulders up. Again, just dropping down anything you don't need. And place the feet down firmly on your mat. Take the palms forward, the heart open. So the opposite of fear is courage. And when we move through our lives with courage, we choose the right option. We're always backed with kindness, with love. Just bring that energy into Surya Namaskara A. We'll reach those hands out wide and strong. Reach up to that highest version of ourself. And exhale, draw it through the heart space and all the way down towards the ground. Take a halfway lift, drawing the shoulders back, the heart forward, and plant the hands down on the mat. Step or jump back and take a vinyasa. Really opening your heart as you take upward facing dog and coming back to downward facing dog. So pure and simple, take three breaths, cleansing your body. Next, inhale, rise to the balls of your feet. Bend the knee, look forward, step or jump forward. And take that halfway lift. Strong body, open heart. And exhale, just humbly fold forward. Let your head fold down. Reach those hands out wide and high. Hips move forward, heart moves forward, hands move up. And back into your kind and open and strong heart. Press down into the feet and inhale, reach up. And exhale, draw the hands through the heart to the floor. Taking that halfway lift to your shoulders back. Press the hands down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Shoulders draw back, heart open. Downward facing dog. Why is it that we cause harm, particularly to ourselves? So many things we do from the food we eat to our habits, to our behaviors or our thoughts, we know do not serve us. Why is it that we do not value our own health or space or mental sanity? Rise up under the balls of the feet, bend the knees, look forward. Step or jump forward and halfway lift. Exhale, fold and reach the hands out. Just bringing in all that beautiful open 
energy and bringing it back into your heart. In the yoga philosophy, they suggest that the first step to all kindness, to self and to others, is just to be loving to ourselves. So take this next round, really just listening into our body and practicing with compassion. Hands down to the ground, lifting up. Place the hands down, step or jump back. And taking the heart up. And back to downward facing dog. However we treat ourselves is ultimately how we will treat others, how we will treat this world. So we can never take too much time filling up our own cup loving ourselves, giving back to ourselves. So take your time, take one more big breath here, feeling unhurried, feeling expansive and full. And as you're ready, move forward to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold. Reach your hands out wide and high. And back into your heart center. Just pausing here for a moment. Feeling your strength, your courage, and most importantly, your kindness to yourself. Reach your hands out wide and high. Take them up towards the ceiling and press into your right foot. Take your left knee in towards your chest. Get really, really long here, strong, and press into your right foot. And then hold around your left knee. Just clasp your fingers and start to kind of drape your chest back. Your shoulders pull back. At the same time, push into your hands so that your arms are straight. Think again like that flower opening up. Your leg is your stem. Your knee and chest are the petals opening. And maybe you trust yourself to start to look up. Up towards that sky above. If you fall out like I just did, come back in with a smile. How do you know if you can trust yourself? By trusting yourself. By giving it a go. And coming back out, look forward nice and slow. And take your left leg back, your hands high, Anjani Asana. Bend into that front leg. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, bend your back knee and hinge your heart open as you bend your elbows. Reach the hands forward to cross the thumbs. Arrowhead position. Take a breath here. Squeeze the belly away from the thighs. Press down into the feet. And on your next inhale, lift back up, Anjani Asana. Take a breath here, ground into the feet. Bend a little deeper into that front leg. Inhale again, lift up. Bend your back leg, exhale, bend the arms, reach back. Look up towards the ceiling, reach your hands forward. Arrowhead position, squeeze your belly. And project out through fingertips. And take it back up. This time opening out to warrior two. Reach your hands out. And look over that front middle finger with energy, with strength, but also with kindness. Take away the struggle, take away the anger. And can you find strength through kindness, through love, through knowing yourself? You could stay here all day. You are so much stronger than you even know. Flip your front hand, straighten out your front leg and slide your left hand down your back leg and reach your top hand up and over. Reverse Trikonasana.
Think again of that heart spiraling open towards the ceiling. Reach up through those top fingertips. And then stretch your right hand forward. Take your left hand off your back leg. And just find this line of energy from fingertips to back fingertips. Stretch forward. Squeeze your belly, then take your right hand down towards your shin and the left hand up and over. Press down into your feet and as you feel that strength, that grounding energy, lift up through your heart a little more and take some weight off the bottom hand. Take one more breath here and really reach up. And now take your gaze down towards your right big toe. Looking at that toe with appreciation, just focusing on that one spot. Now take your weight forward, bend your right leg, coming off your left leg, and take your fingertips in front of your front foot. Half Mudan Pose, Ada Chandrasana. Now option here to bend the back leg, just like we did in our warm up, and reach your left hand for your left foot. If you've got that foot, then start to kick into the hand to open up your shoulder even more. Wherever you are, just press out through every limb. Press especially into that grounded foot. And feel this space through your heart for three, for two, for one. And take your left knee to the outside of your right foot. Sit down. And swim your right hand back, left hand up. And take a nice twist here. Looking over your back shoulder. One more breath here. Really lift up through your chest. And twist over that back shoulder. And then take your gaze to the front of your mat. Release your hands. Take them to the inside of your front foot. And just step into that right foot. Release your left foot and turn all ten toes towards the left side. Coming to a halfway lift. Wide legged forward fold. And just dangle your head down. You might want to hold around the head. You might want to walk the fingertips through. Just pick whatever arm variation you like. As you hang your head forward. Let any pressure that you might have been building up come out of the head. Release your thoughts. And lean into the balls of the feet, feeling the spine long. Coming back up to fingertips. Coming to the back of your mat, hands frame the left foot. Press into the right foot and shoot your left leg back, one-legged plank position, squeeze the belly, hold it here. And then coming into one-legged chaturanga. Now feet join, take your upward facing dog, pull the shoulders back and come back to downward facing dog. Walk, step or jump your way to the top of the mat. And fold forward. Scoop the hands down to the mat and reach them up. Sit down nice and low for Utkatasana. It's especially challenging to think kind thoughts in Utkatasana, but this is our practice. Being present, focused and aware. As we rise to the balls of the feet. And sit your chest down onto your thighs, keeping your belly nice and strong. Just reach out through fingertips, one more breath here, and then plant them down on the mat in front of you. Taking knees into the back of the arms, look forward. Trust yourself here. Think kind thoughts, press into your hands. Take your hips right over your wrists, and maybe pull those toes up towards your bottom. Really lean forward, look forward. And then dome through your upper back like you would in your cat pose. So three, two, Lower down, Utkatasana. Sit down low, 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 low. For three, two, 
one, stand up and maybe take a little back bend here. Oh, and back into heart center. Press into your left foot, reach your hands up high. Squeeze your right knee in towards your chest. Just plant down through your left foot and take your hands around your right knee. Find your breath, find your focus. And think about those flower petals opening now. Nice and slow. Opening your heart, open to the sun. I always feel humbled by this pose. <laughs> Amazing how just lifting our gaze just that tiniest bit can make such a difference. And slowly come back <laughs> to knee and to chest. Not happening for me today, and that's okay. And take it back under asana. Big wide step. And press down into your feet and reach up through your fingertips. Inhale here and then exhale, bend your back knee, cactus the arms, tilt your chest open. Move your hands forward, cross the thumbs, arrowhead. Charge back through the back heel, squeeze the belly and reach through fingertips, breath here. Exhale, press into the feet and come back up, Anjani Asana. Keep those thumbs crossed, bend into your front leg. Inhale here, exhale, bend the arms, open up the chest, stretch open the heart, swim the hands forward. Arrowhead position, take a breath, inhale. Squeeze that belly away from your thigh, exhale, and then come up, open out, warrior two. Sometimes we feel like being open being kind or being loving can make us weak. I think it's stronger to create division or to be angry. But this is not sustainable. It's just like that concept of holding onto the hot coal with the intention to throw it at someone. We just burn ourselves. So let's just decide anyway to be open. Maybe we get our hearts broken a few times, but we want to just keep being open so we can take in that energy as much as we give it out. This is our true strength, to stretch open your heart, reach out through your fingertips and press into your feet. Flip your front hand, straighten out your front leg and slide your back hand down your right leg. I'm just taking a moment to appreciate you. There's so many things you could have chosen to do in this moment. If you're on a path of healing, there's so many things you could have done that would have created harm. But yet you have shown up on your yoga mat. You have given yourself this time. That's going to create such a beautiful ripple effect of healing, of kindness, of awareness through your whole community. So reach out through fingertips. And then take the left hand forward. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Like you're stretching for your reflection in the mirror, seeing those kind eyes out of your fingertips. And then take your left hand down, right hand up. Ground down into your feet, engage your thighs. Squeeze your belly and turn your heart open towards the ceiling. Energy through the arms, lightness through those bottom fingertips. Squeeze the belly, lift up. And then bring your gaze forward. Getting ready for Adha Chandrasana. Left hand moves forward. Right hand moves up. Lift the back leg. You may want to bend that back leg, move into Adha Chandra Chapasana. Holding around the foot and kick into the hand. Two more breaths. Extend. 
open, at the same time ground down. And then bend your right knee, take it to the outside of your left foot and sit down. Feeling the comfort of the ground beneath you. So you take your left hand down, right hand up. And pull the elbow to the outside of your left knee. Squeeze your belly in. Again, thinking first, do no harm. So find length in your spine. You need to force or jolt yourself anywhere. Take your time, use your breath. Really nourish your spine as you move through each vertebrae. One more long, deep breath, filling up your cup. And then look to the front of your mat. Release your hand to the right, just stuff onto your left foot. And then release your right foot out to a wide-legged forward fold. So make sure you've got lots of space between your legs. Taking a halfway lift. This time exhale, fold forward, hands in line with your feet. Drawing the crown of the head down towards the mat. Now if the crown of the head is a fair way away from the mat, don't stress. Perhaps take your feet a little bit wider. Perhaps gently bend into your knees a little bit if you just want to get an idea of that sensation. If tripod headstands within your practice, it's something you feel confident in. Of course, we're thinking first, do no harm. Don't rush anything. Maybe you want to practice landing on the head first, feeling the strength in the arms as you pull the elbows in. Maybe it feels okay to bring the legs out to the side. Maybe you move over to a wall and take your time with this. Stay wherever feels like it's the most healing for you. You can slowly make your way out of the inversion if your legs are up. Land your feet right back where you started. And taking a halfway lift. I'm sending a smile out to everyone that's practicing with me here or later. I hope you're sending one back. <laughs> and coming all the way around the right foot. And just coming through a vinyasa, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And from here, it's going to point the toes like a ballerina and come right up onto the tips of the toes, fold over the tops of the feet and land down on your knees. And bring the hands back into heart center. And open out the fingertips back to that lotus mudra. And kneel up, presenting this mudra up towards the sun. Open, expansive, reaching for the light. And burst it open, reach your hands out wide and high. And then come all the way back, taking the fingertips towards our bottom, like we're in our jeans pockets. And just widen the knees a little bit if that feels good. From here, lift up the heart. Look up towards that bright sun above you. Let your head completely relax back as you lift up through your heart space. Perhaps look back. Perhaps reach for the heels if that feels good. And just let your worries, your fears go. And expand into openness, into trust. Slowly coming back out. And kneel down. Reaching your right hand up. Bend the elbow. And you can take your left hand on top of that right elbow. Or you can reach your left arm underneath and reach for opposite hands. Coming into our second round, give the shoulders a little roll, kneeling up, 
strong and open. Reach your hands up and expand out that lotus mudra. Yeah, as long as you can. Then keep that length in the spine as you take the hands either to your hips or to your heels. As you lift up, move your hips forward and dangle your head back, perhaps with a smile. Soft, calm breath here. Nothing to prove. Feeling into this beautiful space of openness. And slowly coming up. Cross your feet. I'll actually sit here for one more sec. <laughs> Just testing your left hand up. And right hand either coming over the left elbow or reaching behind you. As you're here, really try and pull the elbows apart and lift up through your heart space. At the same time, just keep the ribs pulling in towards the spine so we don't get any pressure in our lower back. Just saying to yourself here, I am open. I am kind. I am love. And now release the hands, cross the feet, coming all the way down onto our backs. Let's take a happy baby pose here just to massage out your back after those beautiful back bends. And just take some slow, deep breaths here. Knowing we are safe, we are loved, and all is well. And if we act from this space of loving kindness, we're only ever going to share more of that and feel more of that in our own life. Draw the knees down, widen the heels. And just drop into that support of the ground beneath you. And then squeeze your knees in towards you. Reach around opposite elbow. And just offer yourself a beautiful hug. A little smile spread across your face. And if there's anything that you've been searching for, if there's any words you need to hear, if there's any affirmation you need of your worth, or that you are loved, just give it to yourself here. You don't need to wait for anyone else to offer that to you. You are already enough. And pull the knees over towards the left side. Just keep that supportive left hand resting down on your right thigh. Truly really holding yourself here. Comforting yourself. And giving yourself the kindness and the support that you so generously offer others. Taking one more breath here. And then turn onto your back. Give yourself another big squeeze. Hmm. And then taking it over towards the right side. A 
Pressing your right hand over your left thigh. It's like a little gesture, I've got you. Taking some time now to bring all of your focus in into this experience, to the sensation of being you. Really come back onto your spine. Give yourself one more squeeze, honoring this time you've taken to be with yourself and stretch out your body. So often in life we give so much of our energy away by worrying about others, or looking out into the world and seeing behavior that doesn't align with our own beliefs. We give so much of our energy away by maintaining everybody around us. There's always the best way for us to see what we want in life is to be that example ourselves. Just come right back into this experience we're having right now. And how can we serve ourselves? How can we honor our needs? Slowly move your hands over your heart and belly. Just taking a few more slow, deep breaths here. With every inhale, just bringing in courage. And every exhale, dissolving fear. Slowly and mindfully, just wake up your body just a little bit to move on to your left side. And we'll lead up in a seated meditation position. And as little fast as possible, come into a seated position. Bring your hands back into your heart center. First, I just want you to visualize yourself. As if you're looking down at yourself from a different perspective and just seeing the beauty, the truth, and the peace that is within you. See this beautiful person so deserving of your love and affection. Just take some slow, Deep breaths here, just filling up your own cup, giving back to yourself. Just holding that within your heart, but now shift your thoughts to somebody maybe in your family or your community, someone that you feel fairly neutral to. Not your child or your partner, but just somebody 
out there, another human being. Just picture their face. Think of their journey in life. Again, just kind of imagine that you're looking at them, perhaps when they're asleep or in a peaceful moment, just seeing the beauty and the truth and the peace that is within them also. Now that your own cup is filled, feel like you can send some love and some kindness to this person. Perhaps imagine it like a white light just shining down on them, helping them to connect to their courage and their light. Just visualize them receiving it right this moment, just anonymously from you. And last of all, I want you to think about someone that you do have a challenge with, that does create some tension within your life. And try and see beyond the fear and the division and just see them again as just this pure being. Maybe that sense of their inner child coming through. Try and see past your own fear and judgment. And again, just see this person. See their truth. See their peace. See their light. Knowing that we all share this. And from that purest part in your heart, just visualize this person, visualize their face, visualize them in this moment right now, receiving that light from you. And this is the most important way that we can practice non-harm and non-violence. By dissolving away these fears and these judgments and these divisions that we've created and seeing everyone as we see ourselves with love and kindness. Taking one more deep breath here. And from the bottom of my heart, I say the truth in me sees the truth in you. I honor the love, the light, the beauty and the peace within you because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are the same and we are one. Namaste.